Hello, 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 hello! It is I, 8-Bit, your favorite sweet-talking chicken nugget VTuber! Hello, hello! It's been a bit! I haven't seen you guys since... Oh god, the Kingdom Hearts Marathon stream last Saturday, but hello, hello, hello! Coming at you again with another Just Chatting stream. But today's topic... Sweet things, baby! Uh, today, since it is the season, tis the season, not for Christmas, that time has passed, unfortunately, we have to wait at least a few more months before we can start celebrating, I guess, even though I don't really want to celebrate Halloween, I'd rather celebrate Christmas, I suppose I will celebrate Halloween first, but before any of that, today, we're going to be talking about sweet things in Accordance to the upcoming romantic holiday. Oh, here, hold on a second. I need just my audio and my headset. Hang on, hang on, hang on. But hope you're all having a fantastic start here on Wednesday. I know there's a Nintendo Direct coming up here in a couple hours, but uh, I want to stream. I want to talk to you guys. I like, I like talking. I love spending time with you guys. It's one of my favorite pastimes. Sweet talking you, chat. Hey. You come here often? Probably not. <laughs> but yes, today we're gonna talk about sugar, spice, and everything nice. I say that because we're just gonna be talking about sweet things. Like this chocolate cake my booty is resting on. Hello, Chance! Hello, hello! Uh, oh, I don't know why chat's not popping up on the screen. But hello, Chance! Hello, hello! Actually, hang on, let me see something. But hello, hello! How you told me the dumb joke, what dumb joke? Is it, is it my skills as a streamer? Cause that's quite rude. Otherwise, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Ah, ba -ba -ba. No, I don't know why chat's not popping up. Hang on. Technical difficulties with that. What's a bear's favorite fruit? Strawberries. Ah, I get that, I like that. I like that a lot. Oh man. Ah, chat's not on screen again. I, I don't know how to fix that right now. Gosh darn it. Oh well. I'll have to just deal with it. But anyway, welcome Chance. Hello, hello. Hope you're having a fantastic start to your Wednesday. Me? I am tired. <laughs> I'm a little bit of a tired nugget. You are fed, so it's good. That is good. That is good. But have you saved room for cake? Because you need your cake, Chance. Oh my God. I okay. So let's just get let's get in the let's get in the sweet talk, shall we? Let's let's just get in the sweet talk. I am a dessert slut. I am a big dessert slut. I just cannot say no when it comes to like most things, chocolate. Chocolate! Chocolate! Why are they selling chocolate? I freaking love chocolate with a gosh darn passion. Like, whenever there's an opportunity for chocolate cake, this nugget will never turn it down. Like, I'm like the uh, bunny rabbit from Wreck-It Ralph, where you just keep shoving the pancakes in that, fuck that fucker's mouth and he just keeps eating. I'm that way with chocolate cake. Honestly, when I, I look like a bloated nugget that just ate ass with how much chocolate cake I have. True story. You know, a good place that has cupcakes that are so good they do the Food Wars anime thing? Oh my god. That sounds amazing. Food Wars! <laughs> what a sweet anime. You taste the sweet nectar of a perfect dish that literally puts you in an oasis of sweet, gooey, pleasury feelings. 
literally Valhalla of foodgasms. That's amazing. They actually want a Cupcake Wars? Hell yeah, good for them. Uh, I really need to watch more um, cooking shows. What is, uh, the, oh, The Great British Bake Off. I've always meant to watch that show. I just haven't. I've always mean to. I think it's on, I think it's on Hulu. I probably should be able to binge that pretty easily, but they always seem so nice to the people on that show compared to like, um, freaking like Hell's Kitchen or, or not Hell's Kitchen, but like Master Chef. Because Hell's Kitchen, for obvious reasons, Gordon Ramsay's a prick to um, people. Uh, but they deserve it, and Gordon Ramsay is an amazing prick. So we all love him. Um, oh God, I've had, I had some good cupcakes in my past. Do you guys, do you guys remember growing up in school? Whenever someone used to have a birthday, they'd, they would basically always bring like cupcakes and Capri Suns to class, you know, just for everyone else to celebrate their birthday. Why can't our workplaces have that? My coworkers don't bring diddly if it's their birthday. It's bullshit. I don't want Capri Suns and cupcakes while I work. Hello, blue lad. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing, bud? How you doing, lad? Welcome to the sweet talking stream. So come here often actually you do you're kind of a regular blue lad which I appreciate welcome welcome ah uh, jeez. Oh, but yes today is just more of a sweet talking stream where I'm gonna be talking about delectable sweets sweet things in general because you know we all know that special day is next Monday the day where we all take time to celebrate the people we love most. Our pets. My cat Cassie. Who is nowhere near me! Gosh darn it. <laughs> Direct in an hour. So yeah, yeah, I know. There's a Nintendo Direct today. But uh, I'll be catching it after I'm done streaming. Screw Monday, Tuesdays when the lefters go on sale. Yo, that is true. Leftover chocolate is always good when it goes on sale after like uh, after Valentine's Day and Halloween. So I, f I feel you. I feel you there. I got you. I got you. Um. Oh, excuse me. Any predictions for the Nintendo Direct? Um. I feel like it's mainly just gonna be more news about stuff. Like, I feel like we're going to get more Breath of the Wild uh, information at the very least. Like, probably a title. Um, sir, the SpongeBob chocolate meme here. Ah, I, I'm trying to remember that meme because I don't really know. I don't really know SpongeBob, to be honest, that much. Um, oh, oh, yeah, more Mario movie news. Yeah, maybe. I don't know, because that movie is slated towards the end of the year. I don't know if they'll release a trailer yet. I don't know. I don't know about that one, Chief. At least I think it's slated for the end of the year, or is it summer release? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But, actually, I'm curious, guys. What's your guys' favorite, like, dessert item? Like, I, as I was saying earlier, I'm a, I'm a chocolate slut. I would totally tour Willy Wonka's factory if I could. I wish I was one of those lucky kids that was able to do that. Seriously. Imagine being able to tour Wonka's factory, seeing the Oompa Loompas, eating the chocolate, eating from the chocolate fountain. Oh my god. I could be a big blueberry nugget. Chocolate is a good contender, hell yeah. Uh, oh my god, speaking of like Willy Wonka, do you guys remember the like the Futurama parody of that with the Slurm factory? That was awesome. <laughs> Oompa. Don't be asking about the secret ingredient. Shut the hell up! <laughs> I love that. I love that episode. Slurms McKenzie. Hell yeah. Party on, Slurm. God, when I have a sweet tooth, I have to go to a pastry. Or patisserie. That 
I don't know if I said that right or not. I can't read! Ice cream cake or chocolate cake? Yes, those are good. Those are both good. Those are quite good. Um... Yeah, no, I can't compete with... Just chocolate is, like, the best contender for, like, anything, in my opinion. Uh, as a kid growing up, I really loved M&M's as, like, my favorite candy. Um... I'll, I'll check that link in a bit, but... Um... Oh, it's Bender. Fair enough, fair enough. Um... Uh, Emmett. Oh, doing the shut the hell up! Excellent, excellent. Uh, what was I gonna say? What was I gonna say? Yeah. Uh, M&M's growing up was like my favorite candy, just plain old M&M's. I just like the chocolatey goodness. Uh, but I'm not gonna lie, I think Reese's Pieces have kind of taken over that slot for like one of my favorite like chocolate like candies. Uh, mainly just because like I just feel like they're a great movie theater snack and the peanut butter flavor to them. Just makes the chocolate better, like, cause chocolate and peanut butter is like one of the best combinations. Um, like the whole Family Guy skit. He got chocolate on my in my peanut butter. He got peanut butter on my chocolate. And the cop shoots them both. And that's how the chocolate peanut butter combination was invented. Like Reese's peanut butter cups. Those are freaking fantastic. That is literally the epitome of chocolate and peanut butter put together. Peanut M and M's though. I'm a fan of peanut M and M's. Um. Sometimes I really don't want their crunch though. That's my that's my preference. I mean they're good. They're good. But uh I mean I like regular M&Ms, especially if you go get like um say like Froyo and you get some like chocolate toppings like some maybe Oreo cookie crumbles on it or you know some Reese's little uh pieces or this like little like thin M&M like shaved M&Ms. Mwah. Mwah. So much sweet stuff. Mwah. God, I drown my frozen yogurt in so much chocolate. It's not even funny. Like, ugh. It's amazing I am as small as I am with how much chocolate I devour constantly. I am a glutton for chocolate. I lust after chocolate. For the love of God, I'm sitting on chocolate. I am a chocolate loving nugget. I'm sorry, I get very emotional and passionate about the things I love. Like you, chat. <laughs> oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Uh, speaking of which, growing up, did you guys ever, like, when you texted someone, did you ever have problems, like, typing out the word sweet and accidentally saying sweat? I did that so many freaking times. When I'd say like, oh, sweet dreams to like someone I was dating or someone, you know, just casually like talking to back in the day. And freaking always say sweat dreams. I hope you have sweat dreams. I hope you just wake up all sweaty and drenched and terrified from some sober nightmare. And just blah. And they'd always think I'm creepy and like fucking reading the text. Like, what the fuck is he saying? Is he hoping I sweat? Does he want to collect my sweat? Is he one of those tier three subs I'm hearing about? <laughs> you never look over your text with a lot of misspellings? Ah, I see. So you take a chance when you text, Chance. You always take a chance and hope it turns out for the best. God, um, I'm trying to be better about like looking over my texts again. Uh, because lately... Lately, when I've been typing out messages or like writing stuff up, I tend to like say the whole thing in my head, but then I always end up somehow missing a word. Like I said it completely in my brain, um, in my mind, but it just, for some reason, my fingers like don't keep up. Apparently that's actually pretty common when you're like thinking pretty fast and on the go. I'm Sonic. I always, I always, always Sonic brain going. You know, I gotta go fast. I don't got time to type out everything. You know, you just gotta get the message across with what I, what I sent. You know, you gotta figure it out. It's like a puzzle. You see National Treasure? Figure it out. Be Nicolas Cage with a Declaration of Independence. Decipher my Nugget brain. Believe it or not, I am rambling, and I've had like no sugar today. Not one single crumb. Mm-hmm. 
<coughs> oh gosh, sorry. Oh gosh. But uh, I'm happy to be here with the chat. Let's see. I'm trying to think if there's anything interesting that happened to me over the weekend that I could briefly talk about, talk about, talk about. Um. Well, actually, I mean, I can just bring it up again. I mean, you you guys were there. Yeah, there was the Kingdom Hearts stream. Oh my god. Like, don't get me wrong, that was a fun stream. But after that stream ended, I just basically laid on my floor for like 10 minutes before dragging myself over to my cat because, wow, I was exhausted doing uh, an over eight hour stream. That was insane. Don't get me wrong, it was fun. I had a good time. I made some good progress, I think, towards getting the trophy. But man, did that wipe me out. Because I'm someone who's used to streaming for two and a half to three hours, sometimes four max. And I basically doubled that that day. It was insane feeling. But I felt, I felt accomplished. I really did. I felt pretty good about myself after that stream. Um, and I should say, just now, because I, in case it gets redeemed, the Mickey Mouse impression is only redeemable during the Kingdom Hearts streams. So please do not use your points towards that. I will have to refund them. At least I'll have to figure out how to do that. So please, please don't do that. It even says in the bio, it's only Kingdom Hearts thing. It seems intimidating. That's the eight hours? Yeah. yeah. It seems intimidating, but then spends 10 hours on getting Genshin Impact. That's fair. That's fair. I really should get more into Genshin Impact again. Uh, there's some there's some sweet waifus and husbandos in there. I remember I first started up Genshin Impact, and basically after playing a little bit, my first pull ever, I got Mona. And then I was like, my job here is done. Because my brother really wanted Mona because he's like one of the few uh, waifus he didn't have. And I just found that really funny. Um, it, was, it was really funny. And I was like, oh, I got the cute little witch looking girl. Hell yeah. I don't ever need to play again. Cause I won the jackpot. Cause that booty though. <laughs> that booty though. Let me know if you want to co-op. You just got Ganyu. Oh, nice, nice, nice. See, as someone who doesn't play Genshin Impact, I do freaking hear a lot about Genshin Impact. It is that popular. And some of my friends always talk about the waifus and husbandos uh, that go up. And uh, like people like Klein, is it Klein? Klee? Some redheaded character who's like apparently stinky according to some of my friends, but they still, they still really want to have him. It, it, it's just funny. Just funny, Genshin Impact. Uh, it took the world by storm just as much as it did because uh, it's a gotcha game I mean it's there's a plenty to do to it there's plenty to do in it other than the gotcha part you do not want to know how bad I grind in Genshin just for her I can imagine my friend you gotta do the grinding method otherwise you gotta do the paying method and that's how Genshin gets their money hell Tectone single-handedly raises their quarterly reports with how much he fucking spends in that game alone per year. 100 wishes in three weeks? God damn, Chance. As a new player, wow. Well, actually, as a newer player, wouldn't you have a better chance of getting like pulls? Cause you get some, you get some free stuff, don't you? In the beginning? I don't know, it's been a while. You only spent 20 bucks? Fair, fair. Uh, I don't think I've ever spent money on a gotcha game before. Don't get me wrong. I love the idea of collecting my sweet waifus in PNG form on like some of the mobile gotchas, like if I were to play Fate Go. But I just, I don't have the time to diddly daddly on my phone for the most part. Like, any video games I tend to play tend to be like long JRPGs when I'm not streaming. And so... I don't know, I just don't have the time for that. And plus, I mean, I'd rather be reading about sweet waifus than, uh, than spending money on them. I don't know. Call me a cheap date. 
Maybe I'm a cheap nugget. I don't know. But actually, that's a good segue. And we all know how I like segues. Let's be real. Okay. Let's be real, chat. What is sweeter than a waifu? Waifus deliver that sweet copium that makes life worth living. Thank you, Rem from Ray Zero. You the best. You the best, Rem. You give me that sweet, sweet copium that I need. Plus, ch waifu making chocolate for you? Exactly! Exactly! Plus, just like a box of chocolates, there's such a rich variety you can have when it comes to waifus. Hell, even bullying can be considered sweet from a waifu these days if Nagatoro is any example of that. It just... It, ah, gosh. Gosh. It's just... Ah, bah. Sorry, sorry. Ah, getting stuck in my throat. It's just a means of building up your self-worth and respect, right? That's what Nagatoro preaches when she bullies senpai. Right, Nagataro fans? I'm pretty sure I'm right. Or you can appreciate the sweet original flavor of affection from a waifu with people like Hestia from Don Machi. <sighs> Seriously, how can you not appreciate the sweet original flavor of affection they can provide from the itty bitty titty committee with Hestia? She provides the best affection for Belkun, which is nice. <sighs> no matter what your provocative is, waifus are freaking sweet, man. But now, just talking about it, I could go for some good chocolate and a good bullying. <sighs> Willy Wonka, Willy Wonka, da -na 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 -na. Do you guys have a favorite waifu chat? One sweet waifu that you just think stands above the rest? I don't, I'm not trying to start a waifu war. Everyone's waifu picks are valid. I just want that to be known now. No, 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 no. But Chance, you just rolled for a waifu. <laughs> no, because women are amazing. That is true. All of them are valid. All of them are valid. We stand, we stand women here in this chat. We stand for powerful women. We stand for sweet women. We stand for all women here. 100%. By the way, I hope the music choice is okay for today. I just felt like because this is a sweet stream, I wanted to go with something kind of more jazzy. Just a little bit more jazzy. Um, because, you know, Persona 5 Royal. Persona 5 Royal is one of my favorite games of all time. I just liked how jazzy it is. Do the jazz hands. Gosh. <coughs> oh my god. Will this cough I have ever go away? And I believe we can fly up in the sky. Do you believe in love after love after love after love after love? Actually, um, oh my god. Uh, hang on. Actually, I kind of, I'm gonna, I kind of wanted to stop the music for a second because, like, this is kind of, so, you got, Persona 5 and Royal have such banger OCs. Yes, they do. Honestly, they have some of the best freaking music in any game I've played. Um, actually, I mean, I don't even argue most Persona games do. I've played Persona 3 and 4. Uh, 4 not all the way through, but I know the entire story because I watched my brother play. Uh, the music's just never miss. I feel like most Atlas games, music doesn't miss. Hell, I played Catherine and Catherine Full Body. The music's pretty good in that those games, too. When you're climbing the towers to your death. That's a sweet game! That's a sweet game deciding to be if you want to be loyal to Catherine with a K, or cheat with Catherine with a C, or have the sweetest girl, Rin, become your true love. <laughs> That's a fun, oh, I should stream Catherine Fullbody one of these days, 
and maybe have chat pick my decisions for me. Because I think that would be fun. See what kind of outcome we get. If we're an evil bastard or if we're a great person. Or if we're just... Alright. <laughs> um, but, I want to... I just want to take a second. just want to take a second. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Alright, alright, alright. Speaking of sweet games... You guys know Yoshi's Story? You got, you got, you guys know Yoshi's Story, right? Yeah, I mean, obviously you know Yoshi. So you, you know the Yoshi Story game on Nintendo 64, where Yoshi basically just has to collect fruit and walk around and such. Like it's a cute, wholesome game, just with Yoshi's being living their best life, trying to explore the world and get all the fruit they need. Now. It got pointed out to me the other day that there's a there's a song called Yoshi's Happy Song in that game that kind of has some questionable lyrics. And you know what? I just really want to share that with you guys just because it it's I can't unhear it now. So I'm going to play I'm going to play it for you guys. I want to see what you guys hear, okay? All right? You guys ready for some <laughs> questionable music all right here we go what does it sound like they are saying Yoshi's happy song. What are the lyrics are they saying? Here, I'll, I'll play it back again. <laughs> it, uh... Kind of sounds like the they're they're eating a certain something that uh, I'm a fan of, and I can never unhear Yoshi singing "Eating Asshole." Oh my god! And and that that specific uh, YouTube video, uh, specific YouTube video. I looked at the description for it. It literally says deleting any inappropriate comments and then turn the comments off. Because everyone could only hear from that Yoshi song, Eating Ale. And I just think that's really freaking funny. Oh my god. I, I mean, it, it's literally called the Yoshi Happy Song, and it's supposed to be this like wholesome ditty. But and it really just sounds like Yoshi's singing about eating ass. And I mean, like. Can you blame him? With a tongue like that, I bet he eats all sorts of ass. <laughs> Yoshi is probably a generous lover. You've seen Yoshi's tongue in Smash? I've also seen his fucking stickers in Spar Mario Party. Yoshi! Yoshi's got it going on. Yoshi, Yoshi's all about eating ass. Listen, if you love someone, you eat their ass. Don't be a stickler. Be like Yoshi. True story. <laughs> what what have I done? I I have I have moved on from my sweet talk to to, to fucking Yoshi eating ass. Fantastic. This is why this is why I want to do more just chatting streams because when I'm playing a game I, my, my focus is divided between reading chat and playing the game and also trying to come up with things to talk about. If I am just sitting here, letting my brain go wild, I can just say, or whatever random thing that comes to mind, or whatever topic that comes to mind, and I can just, I can just do it. Just do it, Nike. <laughs> So, I don't know, maybe I'll, I mean, I, I already, the grilled cheese stream was really fun. And, uh, I don't know, I think I'm gonna be doing more just chatting streams often. 
uh, actually, I think I'm gonna have another one this week if um, a certain uh, VTuber pal of mine uh, is going to be around. Uh, but I'll have to see about that. <sighs> Excuse me. Uh, speaking of which, actually, I might as well just bring it up now. Um, I will be streaming again on Friday. I don't know my stream schedule for Saturday or Sunday, though. Uh, it's, it's rather gonna be one or the other. Uh, but some unexpected stuff kind of came up. So on Saturday, I don't think I'm gonna be streaming unless it's late at night. So I don't really know. But I mean, it'd be the same thing if I streamed on Sunday. I usually typically stream on Sunday night. So we'll see. We'll see. If, if all else fails, I might have to take the weekend off, but I'll make it up to you guys eventually. Um, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. And also figure out another day to play Kingdom Hearts. Not for eight hours, though. But, you know. You know. That's just how it be. That's just how it be. Now. Let's, let's, let's take it back. Let's take it back to... Not for 18 hours. No. Oh, my God. I've been watching, um... Shy Lily and Iron Mouse do their, um... Subathons. And I just... I don't, I don't know how they can do it. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, it seems like a lot of fun, especially if you mentally prepare yourself for it. But damn, I couldn't do that. Because, like, the most I could go for is probably two days or, like, two and a half days. Because I, I, you know, after Saturday and Sunday, I got a job to go back to. God, I cannot do that, though can only go for like eight hours max i mean that so far that is my max um yeah, yeah. <sighs> i mean hopefully one day i can get there hopefully all one day we can all um increase our limit streaming wise because i mean some fun things can happen when you get loopy and tired and you just you say whatever comes to your melty brain mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ah, but anyway. All right, all right, let's bring it back to some sweet talk. I promise you some sweet talk. I'm gonna sweet talk you, chat. I'm just so close to the funny number follower-wise. Hey, that's pretty cool, man. Hope, uh, hope, uh, you, you reach there soon. You reach the sacred number. Uh, do, 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 before I stop that. Don't know why that was happening. Ugh, trying to make sure nothing is sucking my 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 computer dry. Speaking of sucking, how are your moves when it comes to picking up a boo? Now listen, 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 listen up. Listen, listen to the nugget on the chocolate cake. There's very very simple ways to make sure you're not gonna be alone on Valentine's Day. Is it time to break out the pickle lines? Kinda. Kinda. I, I don't know why. That kind of sounded like I was saying like Mario, like fire. Kinda. Is it time to break out the pickup lines? Listen. Now, I want to give you some friendly advice to make sure you're not alone on Valentine's Day. All right? Here's how you sweet talk a boo you've been checking out at the club that's just hanging out at the bar. Okay? You walk right up to them. You just tap them on their shoulder. Give them a nice smile, maybe raise one eyebrow, and then you flash a couple hundreds in your hand. Some flash, some hundred dollar bills. Then you'll end up in prison and you will not be alone on Valentine's Day. See? You follow that advice? You got a date for Valentine's Day. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's such a bad that's such a bad joke such bad advice ah gosh yeah because you'll have a lot of people to uh you have a lot of people to hang out with you know friendly socializing in prison that's how it goes that is that is how it goes yeah because they have uh, arts and crafts classes in there. It's a good social hangout wise. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Seriously though, please do not just flash money at some random stranger. 
at uh, the club. That is bad. That is bad advice. But is it time to break out the pickup lines? Sure, why not? Actually, I was thinking about that earlier, but I didn't have any load up. I'm very curious on some jokey pickup lines. Sixty cheesy pickup lines guaranteed to get a laugh. This better get a laugh out of you guys, chat. Oh my god, this website is annoying how it's labeled. Are you a donut? Because you're adorable. Oh, I like that one, actually. I like that one. I like that one, man. Are you Wi-Fi? Because I'm totally feeling a connection. Uh, actually, my router's not working at... Oh. Damn, girl, are you a BBQ? Because you're sizzling hot with a great rack. Jesus. If I had a nickel for every time I saw someone as beautiful as you, I'd have five cents. But actually, I need like a quarter or so to actually take the bus. So uh, can, you, can, can you help me out? Can you, can you help me out? Are you Australian? Because you meet all of my qualifications. Know what's on the menu? Me and you. Wait, wait, no, no, that was a joke. I am a chicken nugget. Please do not put me on the menu. No, 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 no. 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 You will not vor me on Valentine's Day. No. No. God. <sighs> Can you imagine, though? Can you imagine? Please don't eat me, though. Is, is that how... Is that how Valentine's Day for me would work out? Basically, like... Hey, baby. Or, like, hey, boo. Can I interest you some chocolate? Some flowers? Or maybe... Me? No, 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 wait, no, 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 not like this, not like this! As they're devouring me. That's not the kind of eating out I was expecting on Valentine's Day. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. If you were a Transformer, you'd be Optimus Fine. Bum, 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 bum. Your eyes are bluer than the Atlantic Ocean, and I don't mind being lost at sea. Oh my lord. If you were a burger at McDonald's, you'd be the McGorgeous. Oh my god. If you actually said that to someone, and that actually worked, you are legally obligated to get married into a McDonald's. I've seen pe I've heard of people getting married in a Taco Bell before. I bet there's people that have been married at McDonald's. They should offer McWeddings. Seriously, a bouquet of McNuggets. Every person who attends the wedding gets a happy meal because it's like the happiest day on earth when people get married, right? Seriously, McDonald's, you venture out in so many other aspects. Why not McWeddings? Also, I'd like a McGriddle, please. Have I told you my biggest McDonald's order? I don't think so. Uh, what's your biggest McDonald's order? It better be a hundred nuggets. Or 50 doubles. I actually heard a podcast about someone ordering that much for, like, a bet. If you listen to the Fuckface podcast... Podcast. If you listen to the Fuckface podcast, it's, it's a great podcast. I highly recommend it, by the way. Uh, I don't. Th I think like the biggest order I've had from McDonald's back when I used to eat it was probably like ah, uh, just probably a shit ton of McChickens. 
like way back in the day. I think maybe like six or seven. But like, I think that was like on a day where I just did not have much food at all. And I, I, I don't know. I think that was like a Warp Tour day. Back when Warp Tour used to be a thing. Um, I think I just didn't really eat much on like that concert day, which is why I just had a bunch that day. One Big Mac with no sauce, two double cheeseburgers playing, 20 piece McNuggets, one McChicken, two large fries, an Oreo McFlurry, and a large Diet Coke in one sitting. Damn, Chance! That's nice. That's pretty good. How'd you feel after that? Did you feel good after eating that? It, was there a chance your stomach was unsettled? It was for your birthday. Ah. Big birthday meal for the big birthday boy. You felt satisfied? Awesome, man. I respect it. Uh, I think, that, like... I didn't. I don't think I've had that much of like McDonald's before, but I mean, like, I remember uh, at like a taco place that served like dollar tacos. I'm pretty sure my dad and I, I had 11 hard shell small tacos, while he had like eight. Like, we just went to town at this taco place that had dollar tacos. It was fantastic. Fantastic. It wasn't Taco Bell. I'll say that. Actually, I don't... As someone who used to work at a Taco Bell years ago, I don't remember how freaking cheap their tacos were. Uh, uh, I'm not sure. <sighs> sweet, sweet nothings. If only I could whisper sweet nothings to you, chat, but I don't have an ASMR mic. I, I, I just can't tell you that... I just can't be able to whisper just how amazing I think you guys are. Oh god, that sounds like I was going for like a horror gremlin voice. Like, ah, yes, chat. You are so amazing. <laughs> oh, what the fuck was that? I was so sorry. Jesus Christ. Oh, diggity. Oh, diggity. I actually need to drink water from that. Oh, that hurt. Speaking of which, I really want to learn to emo scream. I really would like to without actually damaging my vocal cords. As someone who loves metal music, that'd be pretty freaking sweet, man. Are you alone? Because you've got my interest. Ah... I'm in the mood for pizza. A pizza you, that is. Ah, ah, ah. I, I was trying to go for Mario there, but I started sounding like the freaking Count. Jesus. Oh, God. You must be made of cheese, because you're looking Gouda tonight. I would love a metal album with a metal clanking in every song. Hell yeah. Oh my god. Um, I remember the back in the days when I was a when I was a wee lad in high school. I would always listen to metal music, wear band tees. I was straight up the emo kid. Of one of the emo kids back in the day. Um, I always wanted to be like, oh, I bet I can. I can bet I can be in a metal band one day. And I never did anything about it besides just look the part. Oh well. What is it like? Uh, I wasn't like extreme, like uh, like Jonah Hill walking the highway uh, in the highway, like Jonah Hill walking the hallway from that one movie, just flipping his spiky hair. I never had like the spiky spiky hair, but I definitely had like the um, like the teased like uh, long black hair all the time while wearing like gauntlets and cuffs and stuff like that. I mean, I don't look back on those days with embarrassment. Uh, and every once in a while I still dress kinda emo-ish. But still, I, I was definitely one of those kids growing up, which was uh, very funny. I just, I, just, I just think that that is funny. It's funny talking about this while listening to Smooth Jazz. 
Uh, what are what are some sweet sweet things I can talk about? Hmm. Hmm. Trying to think. Plays Nirvana. Hey yo, play Freebird. Oh my god. Actually, speaking of what, um, well, I mean, seeing bands were always sweet back in high school, but um, what was it? My Chemical Romance. I I completely like missed that phase of like emo music. Like, by the time I listened to My Chemical Romance, like, they were already broken up back then. And I didn't really understand. I didn't really understand why uh, people were upset at first. Because I never really got into them. And then, like, I also never got into Linkin Park until, like, my senior year of high school. Because there was a time I was just listening to rather metal music. Kind of like uh, We Came As Romans or Bring Me The Horizon or stuff like that. More like alternative. Or just anime openings on repeat. That was my iPod back in the day. <coughs> Please tell me you've heard the song Trapped in the Drive-Thru. Uh, I don't think so. Let me, let me, let me look it up. Song trapped in the drive through. Oh, oh, it's Weird Al. Okay, well, I definitely can't play that on stream. Let's see. Seven o'clock in the evening, watching something stupid on TV. I'm zoned down on the sofa when my wife comes in the room. Sees me and she sees. Oh, what? Oh, okay. What song is this? Uh... Oh, Black Dog by Led Zeppelin. Okay. Fair enough. Weird Al. I I also kind of miss the phase of listening to a lot of Weird Al songs. I'm trying to I'm trying to fix that. Uh, which actually I'll probably add this to my playlist later to give it a good listen to. Um. Because, I mean, besides, before I started listening to, like, metal bands, I really just was listening to anime openings on repeat, like, Full Monocopus Brotherhood, UA, the first opening. That shit slaps so hard, I can listen to it a thousand times a day. To this day. Gosh. What was the tangent I was going on before I... Before I started talking about that? You had the weirdest taste in music? That's fair, man. Uh, nothing weird about liking the things you like. We all are respectable here. Hell, uh, a lot of my uh, music I listen to now is just a conglomeration of rather like rap, VTuber music, uh, VTuber covers, random metal songs mixed in. Like my playlist is not consistent I listen to like on a daily basis because like i don't think like a music like your taste in music should only be like defined by like one genre i mean like it's a spectrum it's a spectrum like you can like one song in a genre that you don't typically like and that's completely fine like i think it'd be cool to kind of like picture it like the genres is like colors and like they mix together to like a form like a beautiful painting that kind of encompasses like your taste I don't know. I don't mean to get philosophical about this. I just think it's quite interesting learning about people's uh, tastes in music, food, in general. Which is a very sweet thing to be interested in with someone you're interested in. So you know. I turned it back around to the sweet talk. These are some sweet things and interest to ask about a potential boo! There you go, chat! Dating advice with Nugget. <laughs> Always remember, Weird Al did a Pokemon song. Weird Al did a Pokemon song? What? Pokemon? Wait. That was on the 2000 movie Pokemon soundtrack? 
I okay, first of all, Pokemon 2000 is a movie I haven't seen in ages. <coughs> Uh huh. Okay, you know, hang on. That. Mm, okay, I'm gonna listen to ten seconds of this because I just want to. I want. I, I want to see if I can remember this being in the movie. I mean, I know it's been forever since I've seen it, but still. Holy crap! So, in the credits, probably? Wow. I I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. And I, I only played it for a couple seconds because I don't want... I, I, I understand it's Weird Al uh, and singing about Pokemon, but I feel like that one I probably can't get away with listening to. Oh, the Switch, uh, the Switch live stream, or not, uh, the Nintendo Rex started. I'll be re-watching that after, uh, stream is probably over. Uh, bum bum bum. Because the goal with this stream is to go for two hours, so I got at least another hour of chatting, chatting shiz. That, that is... Oh, in ten minutes, you think? Oh, fair enough, fair enough. Wow. Wow. Yeah, no, that's crazy. Speaking of Pokemon... You know what is sweet? The innocent blossoming romance of Misty falling for Ash. It all started out with him destroying her bike, and it ended up with him destroying her heart by cementing himself into it forever. Mm -mm -mm. Although speaking of like weird like Pokemon ships. As a kid, I, I this one this one's gonna be weird. Do you guys remember the like Pokemon Latios and Latios movie? Uh with like Bianca and like that whole water village. As a kid, I weirdly shipped Ash with Latios transformed as Bianca. Not really realizing how weird that was. And very illegal that probably was. Uh I mean I don't know the laws about Pokemon. After all, Rule 34 doesn't seem to care if there are, um, but I'm pretty sure you can't do things with a Pokemon, regardless of what they may look like. Pokemon married people in the games? Really? Is that in like Pokemon Black and White where that lore is explained? Because, I mean, again, a lot of the Pokemon games I played as a kid that, uh, oh, in them four times. Well, if that was the case, then wouldn't there be weird hybrid Pokemon? Is that is that why a Machamp exists? Or Machop? I, mm, now, I need to know this. I, I, need, I need answers. Is that why the more human-looking Pokemon exist? Because people got busy and went down with the Pokemon? What has a sweet stream turned into? My innocence is now ruined. Ah. But I know I shipped Ash and Latios basically in the fucking Pokemon Heroes movie. <laughs> oh my god, my favorite Pokemon movie growing up was probably like Destiny Deoxys though. I really love Deoxys, that freaking alien Pokemon. He's felt fucking cool. And then, I, I don't know, I just really liked that movie. Especially with like Rayquaza and such. Rayquaza, Rayquaza. Did you guys ever like mispronounce a lot of Pokemon names growing up? Cause you know, in the game, it's just in text. You just read it. Like Kyogre, I always said as a kid was Kyogre. And it took like a decade for that kid to be like corrected because I just didn't know I just I just read the names like Groudon is pretty self-explanatory but like Kyogre well I guess 
Ogre is in the name, but I mean, as a kid, I just mispro I just mispronounced it as Kyo Gray. It's like almost a Power Ranger, Kyo Gray. Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez. Oh, actually, that's a good idea. Um, good idea, brain. Uh, what about Pokemon pickup lines? You pronounce Dialga as Dalgia. Dalgia. <coughs> Alright, let's go. Pokemon pickup lines. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Are you a Pikachu? Because you are shockingly beautiful. And dead. Because you got electrified by a rat. Okay, that last part I added. <laughs> oh my god. I know you're not a Pokestop, but I'd still spin you around and tap that. Oh my god. That, does that actually work? Did that work during the Pokemon Go era? Oh my god. I miss when Pokemon Go was at its like hypest mo uh, like peak, cause like I used to walk around and play that game and hit, like around downtown and get a lot of Poke stops. I I mean that was fun. There were so many people out playing that game. I know it's, it's still got a pretty decent fan uh, player base now, but it's excuse me, it is not the same. Do you want to battle? Cause my balls are ready. Will you rock polish on my Pokeballs? God. Hey girl, let me see them Jigglypuffs. That sounds like a Smosh pickup line. Can I finger... I'm not saying that one. I, I, I don't even get that one. Okay. Looking at your ass makes my bulba sore. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Don't do my boy like that. My innocent little cabbage boy Bulbasaur. Seriously, Bulbasaur is one of my favorite Pokemon. No. No, no, no. Don't make him use Vine Whip in your sick fantasies. Good God. I don't need my Pokedex to find your Ghastly. I don't really get that one. Your Ghastly. Like, Gas Leak? Like, is that saying they're downstairs as a Ghastly, or is it supposed to be like an ass? Ass Ghastly. That, that sounds more like an insult, if anything. I don't need my Pokedex to find out your ghastly to look at. To find your ghastly appearance. I don't know, that sounds more like an insult than a Pokemon pickup line. When I'm around you, I'm like a Geodude, as hard as a rock, Jesus. That's a Brock pickup line right there. <clears throat> oh my god, you know what was sweet and wholesome? Brock always trying to hit on some gal, and his Pokemon's always bringing him, bring him back down to Earth. Uh, it used to be Misty, it used to be Max, but then eventually it was Krogunk poison jabbing Brock in the ass. God, I, I, I do miss watching the Pokemon anime sometimes. Like, the Pokemon anime was pretty sweet. It's freaking sweet, man. It was funny. Especially, like, the newer seasons. Like, I heard the Sun and Moon season... They, they went for a more, like, uh, really more anime art style and, like, goofy slice of life kind of story with Ash going to school. And really, Ash is just kind of chilling around the whole, or just kind of exploring all the regions again. Honestly, I think, I think Pokemon anime is pretty good now. I mean, I know some of the older seasons, like, I heard the X and Y season was pretty damn good. But I feel like the newer seasons of Pokemon just seem more fun. They just seem more fun to be around, and I think that's pretty cool. It's kind of like my opinion with Pokemon Legends of Arceus. Something new is something better. And I'm pretty happy about that. 
pretty, pretty, pretty happy about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right. We are down to one hour. We are down to one hour. Hmm. How about some anime pickup lines then? That I can further schmooze you guys. Anime pickup lines. Do you have a pen so I can write your virginity in my teth note? How is that a good pickup line? You're killing their virginity. That doesn't mean you are the one that's doing it, though. God. Our love is over 9,000. Know what I'm saying? Vegeta. <laughs> Do you believe in fate? How about you stay the night? Are you a trap card? Because I've fallen for you. I love that one. I like that one a lot. I love you, Gyo. Oh, God. Girl, have you mastered the Rasengan? Because every time your hand touches me, you make me dizzy. Zoro has the three sword style, but I'm really good with my one sword. Call me All Might, because I'm just looking to Texas Smash. Texas Smash that ass! Oh, that's our number one hero, folks. Oh, jeez. Speaking of sweet things, when the heck is Deku and Uraka gonna become a thing? I mean, I'm not... I actually, to be perfectly honest, unless it's like a romance uh, story, kind of like quintessential quintuplets, I don't really ship characters all that much, because honestly, it doesn't really matter. But uh, unless that's like kind of the goal of like who the hell is this person gonna end up with, then I get really more invested. Uh, so like, Deku and Uraka don't have to end up together at all. They could just be really good friends, and I'd be okay with that. Even though Uraka is a very sweet character. Um, although quintessential quintuplets, that is my like favorite romantic uh, comedy manga slash anime. Uh, mainly the manga, so I read the whole series, and I fucking love all the quintuplets. They're such good characters. Yatsuba is my favorite. She's so dang good. So dang good. Very good. Uh, seriously, if you want to read a rom-com where the main character, for the most part, just does not give a fuck about romance at all, but all these girls slowly start to like him, even though he really doesn't want to deal with them other than trying to make sure they... um past their classes seriously quintessential quintuplets fantastic series please check it out you just want deku's mom to be behind everything all for one all for deku i will bring end to the hero society all for my son to finally be safe that's the big plot twist horikoshi is leading up to i i should have known you you broken the code chance yes Yes, yes, yes. Fantastic. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gee, Willikers. <coughs> she wanted her son to be the greatest hero. In order for, yeah, in order for her son to become the greatest hero, she had to become the greatest villain. Yep, so she created the greatest villain. Do you have the Byakugan? Feels like you can see right through my heart. Aww. Are you Chisaki? Because I want a Detroit smash you. I feel like they screwed that up. His name's not Chisaki. Oh, wait. No, that's a different. Oh. Oh. I'm dumb. I forgot about that villain with the gas mask. Or, like, the plague mask on him. Are you. Mm, I'm not going to say that one. Are you Gara? Because love is written all over your face. Orochimaru speaking to you. Be my vessel. I want to be inside you. Hmm. Show me your Bankai, big boy. Don't need me to phantom thief to steal your heart. Hey, that was a Persona one. Yeah. 
Ah, ooh, actually, going in theme with the Persona. Uh, wonder if there's Persona pickup lines. Uh, Persona 5 specifically. Actually, just real quick, I'm very curious. Uh, who'd you guys, if you guys play Persona 5, uh, who'd you guys end up with, like, dating-wise? Uh, I picked Futaba because big old nerd. Uh, that's just how I was. Um, all, to be fair, all the gals in, uh, Persona 5 and Persona 5 Royal are amazing. They're all great characters. Um, I kind of feel bad for Haru, though. Because I feel like when you get her as a party member, at least in Original 5, you just don't have enough time to really max out her story unless you really go for her. That's why I fell with Aegis in Persona 3, who I loved the most in Persona 3. But I missed maxing out her social link by one because the game was ending and I will never forgive myself for that. I was so damn close. Gotcha. Makoto, Kawakami, Takemi. Fair, those are good choices. Makoto's like, I feel like the number one pick for most people, and I understand it. It is kind of sweet how you're pretending to be your boyfriend uh, in order to help uh, help her out, go on double dates, to check on, on her friend, but eventually you just progress to be your actual boyfriend. It stops being pretend. Isn't that the classic kind of high school love story? You know? Plus, I mean, who doesn't want to be with a powerful biker chick? Powerful biker chick that can literally beat the fuck out of you at a dime's notice. She is a literal queen. So I understand it. I completely understand the love for Makoto and Joker. It's a good ship. It's queen shit right there. You have a thing for strong girls? Who doesn't these days? Who really doesn't? Honestly, this nugget... This nugget needs a strong, strong woman in their life. That way, I can literally just have people tell me what to do and I'd be okay with it. <laughs> or a strong guy. I don't know. I'm a pretty open-minded nugget. On X Makoto, though, I haven't really thought about that before. <laughs> okay, uh, so I go... <laughs> Persona. <laughs> I went on this Persona 5 related pickup lines for, um, cause just to figure out some on this Reddit. The first comment is, I'm a dad. <laughs> what? What? How is that a Persona 5 pickup line? I'm a dad. Let me secure the infiltration route to your heart. Ooh, ooh. Or into your pants. Jesus Christ. Hmm. Show me your true form. Hey, oh, that's the perfect pickup line. It's blunt, straight to the point. You'll get to know your boo faster than any way possible. Show me your true form. Oh my God. Oh, jeez. That's a good pickup line. I, I I stand by that one. Show me your true form. You don't want to end up with a shadow, folks. You got to make sure they're legit. You got to make sure they're a legit sweetheart. God, now I just want to go downstairs and play Persona. You look so fine. You gave my heart an all-out attack. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. And honestly, that's such a good line to say in the bedroom in general. You know, you're just getting down and dirty and you know as you're as you're getting as you're getting down to business you just say it's time for an all-out attack and you just jump right in okay i'm gonna stop right there getting a little too personal too personal with that oh my god <coughs> um okay here we go let's see more persona pickup lines If On did a pickup line, lovers, need I say more? Yosuke, bear your body for my art. Your emperor demands it. Oh my god. Makoto, I'll have you praying for more, I promise. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see. 
On a scale of 1 to 10, you're a 9, I'm the one you need. That's not a Persona pickup line necessarily, but still. Oh, God. I really... I'm in the middle of finishing up Persona 5 Strikers. I still have a bit to go, so I'm not completely done with it yet. But damn. I want to... Maybe it's time for my uh, second playthrough of Persona 5 Royal all the way through. Uh, I beat Persona 5 uh, way back in the day when it first came out. And now I've, I've beaten Persona 5 Royal. Now I'm doing Strikers. I have Platinum Persona 5 Royal because it's actually way easier to get all of the trophies in Royal than it was uh, 5. So, there's that. Um, I, sh I should probably do another playthrough. That way I can try and actually take down the twins and fight like uh, Lavenza. Do the do some of the extra bosses. That'd be fun. That, that would be fun. <coughs> oh gosh. Uh. Oh my god. You want to know what's funny? On Valentine's Day, uh, which is Monday, uh, I'm getting my taxes all figured out. That's how that's how I'm sp how that's how I'm treating myself on such a sweet day. Mm -hmm. Nothing sweeter than the government showing their fists so far down you that you just lose everything, huh? Keys can you think of anything more romantic? <laughs> That's sugar, spice, and everything nice for sure. No, I pro I'll probably, probably get some sweets. Uh, get some more chocolatey goodness. Some chalky cake. Actually, when was the last time I had a chocolate cake? Mm. I actually don't know. I do not know. Oh my god, I'm just thinking about the Nintendo Direct right now. What if a wild card somehow Persona 6 got announced? <laughs> my favorite moment of the fight between the twins for me is Lisa's Rivers. Um, the desert playing and Ryuji saying, Get wrecked and using the big like punch move on him. Oh, nice. Wild card, Genshin Impact. Wait, is Genshin Impact not on Switch yet? I feel like that's a no-brainer. I mean, really? It's not? Huh. Yeah, no, I feel like it's a no-brainer. I mean, the game works fine as a mobile game. There's no reason for it to not work on Switch. I mean, I know Switch's internet's kinda blah, but still. And seeing how well Pokemon Unite is, I know Nintendo does not care about microtransactions being in their games these days. So yeah, no, Genshin Impact would probably work. Uh, probably work on Switch. Probably be ideal for it. Hmm. I wonder. How about some Genshin Impact pickup lines? Forty-one Genshin Impact pickup lines, funny, dirty, and cheesy. Are you a Geo? Cause I want you because you are down to earth. Are you a Pyro? Because you are smoking hot. Hot. Are you an Electro? Cause you are so stunning. Are you Hydro? Cause you a make me wet. Cause you a make me wet. I like it, it's literally a phrase of that. Oh my god. Babe. You're my five star. Babe, how many EXP would I get if I smashed that pussy? Jesus Christ. Time to, babe, time to switch and combo our elements together. Enough of the co-op in game. How about we do some co-op in bed? Forget about rolling the banners. How about we roll, okay, no. No. Okay. Girl, let's check our synergy. Do we react or resonate? Girl, you are worth it. I'm gonna blow all my recent on you tonight. Jesus! Girl, you made my wish come true when I rolled you. 
The only gotcha I want is you. That can work for any of the gotcha games. Man, I was, I was hoping there would be like some more character specific ones, but I guess not. Hmm. Babe, you are the final entry in my adventurer's handbook and I would like to complete it. That sounds like a thing Barney Stinson would say, trying to say like, girl, you're about to be my hundredth lay. And I would really like to, f or, oh wait, I screwed that up. Barney says, you're like, babe, there's only one more entry left in my adventurer's handbook. And I'd like your name to be the one that's written inside it. You know what? what is better than plant life? We make our own life. I would hit that level cap of yours to make you ascend all night long. Yeah, no, they're really, uh, man, I was hoping there'd be more character specific ones, but oh well. I mean, we got, we, we got some fun ones out of there, I guess. <coughs> Sorry. Oh gosh. Oh, ah, jeez. Sweet, sweet nothings. Sweet heckin' nothings. Very, very excited to see what kind of sweet things are gonna be announced in the Nintendo Direct. Um, I would actually show uh, the Direct on stream, but I also kind of want to keep the VOD, so I don't want to have to go through deleting it. Oh gosh. Oh, I hope there's more details about the Kirby game. Because Kirby is a sweet little pink bundle of joy that I, I'm very excited for their new Kirby game coming out. That's going to be a blast, honestly. I'm very excited about that one. Mm, bum, bum. Kirby's so cute. Like, how can you not love that pink little ball? That pink little glutton from the stars that will swallow everything up at the drop of a hat. God, you, you just, you just love, you can't, here, I'll even bring up a picture of Kirby. You just can't, you just can't hate Kirby. Kirby's the most powerful Nintendo character, 100%. You can't hate Kirby. Boop, boop, boop. Hey, that's a small PNG, but it'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Oh, that'll do, donkey. That'll do. Kirby's most powerful from Nintendo care, especially if he's fought with Ryu, Terry, Bogart, Kazuya, and even Sephiroth. Yeah, and he could suck them all off, no problem. I meant like he sucked them inside of him so does it sound better? And like blow them off the stage and they die. I did not mean. Mm. Imagine if he used their powers like Mega Man. I mean, he could kind of do. That's the whole copy power system. <coughs> like this little bundle of joy right here. He's the most powerful thing in the universe. Ooh, actually, I wonder. Ah, it looks like Kirby and I are chilling out. This is adorable. Watch how he's gonna get the cake. Uh oh. Oh no, he's gonna swallow us both up. First it was Homer Simpson last stream, and now it's fucking Kirby and me. And now it's Kirby. Oh no, 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 no. Bah. He spit me out. It's okay. It, it's okay, Chad. He spit me out. He spit me out. Uh, I just realized this looks like Kirby and I are lovers. Hmm. Well, Kirby does love food, so it makes sense. 
Yeah. Ba, 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 ba. Now, Kirby's respectful. He won't eat my cake. Unless I... No, no, Kirby would 100% eat my cake. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about my ass. Kirby's Return to Dreamland for Switch, please. That'd be awesome. Uh, actually, I would be really down if they ported Kirby and the Amazing Mirror uh, to Switch and it supported four-player online co-op. That would be fucking awesome. Because I never got to play that game on GBA with, like, friends before. I think that'd be really cool. Have all the different colored Kirbys running around the map, you know, you can explore at your own, your heart's content without really having to wait for the other co-op partners. That'd be so fun. <coughs> oh my god, that's 100% uh, another thing too. It, if by some miracle Super Mario Odyssey 2 is announced, uh, I will, um, I don't know. I'd shit a brick. I, I would shit a brick. Nugget, would you ever want to play Mario Party? I mean, I'm always I'm always game for like Mario Party. Like I'm pretty open to um I'm pretty open to playing things. Uh, we could always talk about that. Could always talk about that. I, I, to be honest, I haven't really got to play the new Mario Party that much. Oh, uh, speaking of which, actually, Mario Party DLC. Mario Party DLC, please give us another board. Give us maybe like 10 more mini games. Seriously, the Mario Party Superstars is so good. Just give us more into that. The game could the game could just use like one more board, even maybe two. Give us like a Bowser kind of like finale stage. That'd be cool. Give us Isabelle from Animal Crossing. Oh, they could totally do that actually. Like, what if they pull Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, where they do, like, guest boards, or guests kind of thing? And that would totally work with Mario Party Superstars. Because it's Superstars. Like, put put a Link board. Put an Isabel board. Just do that. Better yet, give us Mario Kart 9 news. For the love of God. I love Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. It's one of my favorite games. But besides the mobile game, there hasn't been much lately. Like, come on! Come on! Wouldn't it be a sweet gift to us, Nintendo? With some Mario Kart news? And we also get those cool costumes like the mobile game does, where like, you get King Boo as a racer, you get like, Dr. Luigi, Dr. Mario, or certain cost themed costumes. Like, come on! Come on! Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, jeez. Well, I'll figure it out sooner or later. Because I'll be watching the direct while I eat lunch today. Oh god, excuse me, sorry. <coughs> um gosh. But yeah, no. Um I'm very curious uh, cuz I'm do I'm very curious cuz one of two things is going to happen on Friday. Friday is rather I'm going to collab with a friend or I'm going to just kind of play like, probably Pokémon Legends of Arceus. It's going to be one of those two things. Imagine Pikachu and Mario Party. That would be sick. I don't know if Pikachu would be their first go-to, though. I don't know why. Although, the more I think about it, if they do... Mm, no, I think it's possible. I mean, because I was going to say, like, they technically would have to make sure whatever guest character they put in, the new model, they would have to... Um, do a bunch of reprogramming for the previous mini games to get that model to work. 
in it and everything. It's probably possible. It's probably pretty doable, honestly. Uh, probably not too much work given everything. Um, I mean, Pikachu and Mario, and like a Pokemon board for Mario Party, I could see that. That'd be pretty cool if they just want to give us boards. Although, perfectly honest, any DLC they give will probably be from a previous uh, Mario Party game. Because that's the whole point of the new one. It's supposed to be a culmination of such. Bum, bum, bum. <sighs> Smooth jazz. You like jazz? Baba, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's think about some sweet topics, shall we? Trying to think whether like sweet foods other than dessert. I mean, I love muffin. Oh, okay, yeah, we can always like candy. Do you guys remember like those like um like lollipops? You guys remember lollipops? I mean, obviously, I, I imagine you would. Uh, oh, there's sweet tea. That is true. I do enjoy myself good sweet tea. Do you guys remember getting lollipops from like the dentist's office or like um, just anywhere in general? And what was those like lollipops like airheads? Or no, what what was that owl? That was owl. That, like 50 licks to get the center of a tootsie pop, tootsie roll, is it a, or a tootsie pop? Am I right? Either way, I remember eating those as a kid. I don't... Do adults have any lollipops? Like, I, I just feel like lollipops aren't really actually a good candy. You love the blow pop lollipops with the bubble going in them? Ah, uh, yeah, I remember those. I don't know. I just feel like that's a candy you... You just, you just don't really have anymore. I mean, I see him in anime, obviously, you know, because it's kind of like a funny, like, character quirk. Oh, give the give the cute girl a lollipop. Uh, but it's one of those things where it's just like, I don't know. I don't, I've never really fucked, never really fucked with lollipops uh, after, like, being, like, a little kid. Uh And those like sugar, I mean, again, I'm not, I'm not a fan of sour things. So like all those like sugary kind of like, um, worms and stuff. Like I wasn't really a big fan of those. Uh, macaroons though. That's a sweet treat. I don't think I really had many macaron, macrons, macaroon. How do you say it? Am I saying it right? Macaroons? I feel like I'm saying it right. Macaroon. Cause they're they're like they're kind of like little cookies, right? Hmm. Oh, am I saying it wrong? Hang on. Macaron. Wait, really? Macaron. Macron. Macaron. 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 No! No way! In Macaroon! Macaron? No, I don't accept that. Macrons are French, and while anyone study the French language knows that the French do not have the ooh sound in their language, but rather an aw sound is in the word go. Really? Man, okay, really? Wait, there's a British pronunciation, hang on. Macarin. Oh, god damn it! Macarin. Macaroon. Macarin. Mac or Macarin. Macarin. So macaron is closer to macaroon, but the American pronunciation is macaron. 
just passing by nugget thing oh hello devil's deal i hope you're having a fantastic wednesday no oh, no appreciate you just stopping by for a second i'm currently learning that my whole life's been a lie with how i've been pronouncing macaroon it's macaron sounds like a damn digimon My whole life has been a lie, me mispronouncing sweets. <sighs> but welcome, Devil's Deal. Just uh, happy to see you passing by. I appreciate it. You're finishing animating myself and it's driving you insane. Oh, I'm sorry, man. But, uh, I mean, you're almost finished, right? That sounds pretty exciting. That sounds pretty, pretty sweet. If I do say so myself. Yeah, no, I just decided because I probably won't be streaming on Valentine's Day that I do a little sweet stream for you all just doing talking about sweet things It's been mostly just cheesy pickup lines though if I'm being perfectly candid Not much else to it I mean there was some sweet waifu talk earlier and obviously Kirby's joined but still I have two sets of animations still finished for the end of the work end of the week for the debut. Oh, I see. Well, that's still exciting though. You're a sweetie pie. <laughs> ah, you got me, Chance. Ah, oh, you think I'm a sweetie pie? Ah. Oh. Well, how about I be the Sweeney Todd to your Sweeney pie? Eh? Eh? I chop them up and you make the pies. <laughs> Yes, you make a good old meat pie. More of a nugget pie? Wait, no, I'm not getting chopped up. I'm Sweeney Todd in this situation. I'm Sweeney Nugget. Also, I mean, I always knew the story of Sweeney Todd. I never watched a full play performance, I, even on like DVD before, uh, until like the other day, or uh, not the other day, like last year. Get over here. No, Scorpion, no, 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 no. Kirby, protect me, Kirby. Kirby! Oh, wait, wait, no, no. Oh, damn it, Kirby, no, don't suck me up, too. Come on! Why can't I just go one day without someone trying to vor me? Eh, eh, no, I must, I must resist. I'm on the lip, I'm on the lip, now! Bio! You'll get the chainsaw. Oh, Jesus. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm, I'm upside down, I'm on the ceiling. Now I'm on the ground, I'm on the ceiling, I'm on the ground, I'm on the ceiling, I'm on the ground, I'm on the ceiling. You'll get the chainsaw, man. That's an anime ad adaptation I'm pretty excited about. I've only read the first six volumes of the manga, but I mean, the anime, it's, it's probably gonna be pretty freaking sweet. Even though I'm not like the biggest fan of Chainsaw Man, if I'm being perfectly honest, but I mean, it's still decently, it's still a good story, and I'm sure it's the action in it is gonna get animated beautifully because it's by the same people that's doing Attack on Titan. I think it's Mappa. That's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, 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 uh. Wait, is your debut at the end of this week, uh, Devil? You devilishly good person. Just curious if it is, because I mean, if I'm able to, I would, I would like to stop by if I can. I can't make any promises, because uh, I don't know what really my schedule is for the weekend. But I always try to do my best to support the homies when I can. Either way, I'll, I'll, I'll be on the lookout for that. Bum, bum, bum. Do, do. I'm also trying to do my best to avoid any Nintendo Direct spoilers. I wonder how long it actually is going to be. Was it like 40 minutes announced? I think, probably. So I'll be able to get it. I'll be able to get a good chunk in there. I'll probably be streaming only for like 20-ish more minutes, just the way I get a good solid two hours in. I'm very excited. I'm very excited, actually. Like, it's honestly, it's not a bad time of year. Yeah, it isn't a bad time of year. Honestly, like, 
it's just a good time like being a being a nugget vtuber it's just been it's been a nice wholesome time just to get a little sweet on you guys it's just been it's just been really nice being able to play games and chat with you all consistently it's it's just really nice i'm pretty happy about it If anything, you're all the sweetie pies that make my day. Even though a good chunk of people that come into my chat want to devour me or tear me up and destroy me, that just shows I know you guys love me. I'm not sweet, I'm cringe. Do I look like a pie to you? Um... Do you want me to answer that? Because I think you're a cutie pie. <laughs> Don't kill me. Measure my words carefully, no good thing. Uh, well, I said it before you said your thing. So, so, so. You want some cake? Eh? Okay. Will cake make this uh, this go away? You want some of this cake? I'm not talking about my nugget cake. I'm talking about this chocolate cake I'm sitting on. Although my cake has been sitting on this cake. <coughs> Guess I'm investing in a restaurant waiting for the casino. Now hang on. I understand that's a threat, but a single nugget cannot be the reason why you would invest in a restaurant in a casino. That seems like a lot of potential waste just for a single nugget like me. That's thinking pretty single-mindedly there, my friend. You gotta think big, you gotta have bigger ambitions. If you want to have a successful restaurant, you gotta think outside the box. Think outside Jack in the Box. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a casino. A casino, the devil deals with YouTuber. Well, I mean, the souls trapped between time and space never die. You know, I think I'd rather be in the restaurant wing. That way I could at least die if that was the case. No, don't, don't, no, no, don't. You're not, you're not selling me again and again and again and again. And again and again and again. You're, you're not really selling me on this idea. Mm-mm-mm. Come on, this is a sweet stream, devil. This is a sweet. You gotta be sweet, devil. The devil is the devilishly sweet. Jabame, Jabame Yumiko, scary gambling face here. Fair enough. Ah, Kakagiri. Ah. Uh, wait, that is Kakagiri, right? It's been so long since I started reading the manga. I, I really need to keep reading that, actually. I'm not, I think I read, like, three volumes of uh, Kakigiri. I need to. I need to get on it! Uh, uh, big stretch! Big stretch! Uh, hope, hope you guys... Hope you guys stretch. You should read more manga? Hell yeah, my friend! I own over 200 of them. You should totally read more. Yumiko would easily beat me in any gambling. Uh, same. Like, I don't think there's anyone that would come even anywhere, n or, I don't think there's anyone that comes even close to being able to beat Yumiko in gambling. Especially if you know my lore. I do not know your lore, Chance. All I know about you is that I should take a chance on getting to know you. <laughs> and you took a chance of being in my chat. You lost all your lore in a gamble? Oh shit. <laughs> so you have no lore. <laughs> my father actually had a wall covered in shelves full of old manga. Oh, that's pretty cool. Like, how old are we talking? Uh, like, out, I, did Astro Boy have manga? Did Astro Boy have manga? I don't know, I'm just trying to think of old manga, because I mean, like, there's, like, 
I, I mean, the Dragon Ball is pretty old, but I mean, I know there's like um, Doraemon, which is like a very old anime. I don't know if Doraemon had a manga though. I imagine it probably did. It probably did. Ah, uh, some sweet manga. Kaguya-sama, Love is War, Quintessential Quintuplets, Rosario Vampire. Ah! And SAO. I mean, if you just focus on uh, Kirito and Asuna, Sword Art Online, uh, Progressive is kind of sweet, and I will stand by that. Because you know everyone has some weird things you can put up for collateral. Oh, like manga? Kenshin, Rama 1 Half, City Hunters, Buddha, Dragon Ball, Zip Zang, The First Few Hundred, Conan, Detective... Wait, Detective uh, and GTO might be somewhere. Detective Conan? I fucking love Detective Conan. Detective Conan is one of my favorite series. One of my goal is to own all Detective Conan manga. <laughs> but Rama one half. That that's a sweet manga too. Like those are some pretty good choices. Uh, GTO though, I don't know if I know GTO. What is GTO? GTO manga. GTO manga. Oh, great teacher on Onizuka. I've seen this image before. I've seen this guy before. I don't think I've actually read or even seen anything about it. Born in 19 or original run 1997 to 2002. There's a lot more, but he got them back when manga conventions were held in a garage in Belgium. Holy crap, really? Wow. That is so that is so fascinating, because like the conventions I've been to have been in like big expo centers. Um, uh, but like clearly, you know, times have changed. Um hmm. Wow. That 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 that's very interesting. This song is so nice. Just the piano and jazzy vibes. Can you think of anything sweeter than just relaxing and unwinding with some delicious sweets? Your boo, your pet, your animal, the souls of the damned. Great, just great vibes all around. Back when the Japanese tower in Brussels actually exposed Japan, like thing like katana and other stuff like that. Huh. That is actually really interesting. I feel like, well, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming once you're you're streaming, uh, bud, and your stuff's already, you'll be you'll be able to explain a lot of interesting things. I'm looking forward to that, my friend. And then there's me that is trying to talk about sweet nothings, but keeps bringing it up uh, nerdy shit instead. That's just how I roll. <laughs> oh my God. This cough will one day go away. It will one day go away. I know it will. Mask and I are two different persons, but we are indeed shared, vaguely shared, same knowledge. I gotcha. I gotcha. I... Hmm. Oh. I... That was weird. My mouth got stuck, even though my mouth was closed. Oh no, I got locked ya! Oh no! Oh my gosh. So I know for like the rest of the month, I gotta keep, I gotta at least play Kingdom Hearts pretty consistently uh, to get that trophy. You will not believe what they just announced. Do not tell me, please do not tell me. I will be watching the direct after stream. Uh, I mean, if they finally announce Persona Five on Switch, that would be amazing. Uh, honestly, and a long time coming, but that would be cool. Um, uh, but I will watch it off stream. Mainly just because I want to make sure I can keep the VOD. Uh, 
they are burning people who believes in NFTs. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Fucking hate NFTs. Speaking, it's just being in Persona, real quick. They fucking um, some guy tried to sell like use case painting for Persona Five at the Siori as a NFT, and that is just amazing. Amazingly ironic that it's trying to be sold as an NFT, given the premise of its whole importance in the game. Oh god, I, I really hope the NFT fad fizzles out, because there's nothing sweet about it, honestly. It's all scummy, murky waters that I am just 100% sick of. 100% sick of. Like, don't go around, the jokes are funny, but, like, it's... It's all just doing more harm than good, and it's it, it's ridiculous. It's going to die because economically it doesn't work. I hope that's true. Um, but who knows? Like, there's a lot of things that were unexpected in this world that I didn't think would go the way they did. And they did, so... And just like that, I made the sweet talk a downer. Let's bring it back up, shall we? How about, since the devil is here, how about I look up some devilish, devilishly charming pickup lines, shall we? Devilishly charming pickup lines. Vermintide 2? What the hell? <laughs> what the hell's Vermintide 2? I don't even know Vermintide 1. Oh, you're talking about Warhammer. Okay. Okay. I'm good. I mean, Warhammer is always interested in me, but um, I don't have time to give us that. I know where you are. Do you? Hey, girl. Are you from hell? Because you are hotter than the devil. Oh no no no! I didn't I didn't mean I didn't mean you specifically. Devil's deal view too. I I didn't mean that at all. I oh no! I'm not already dead. Oh no 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 no. Um, how, how about this one? How about this one? Um, you remind me of the devil because you fine as hell. Eh? Eh? <coughs> eh? Oh, you're not the devil, you know. Oh. Well, I mean, I don't know what else to call you, devil. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize if I offended. I bet you sound like a Tasmanian devil in bed. Jesus Christ. I am all alone. <laughs> All right, I'll move off these pickup lines. I'm not sweet and charming for you, devil. You're an eldritch entity. Oh. That's still charming, though. Do, 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 do. Do, do. Well, hello! Nice to meet you, Eldrick Entity. I'm a chicken nugget. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. If you find tentacles, eyes, and maws, that is. Hmm. Well, as someone being an anime fan, tentacles are a must in my life, so... They are not made for that. Ah, fooey. Eh 
I hear with them, you fools. Oh. So it's kind of like vibrations get picked up, or sound waves of vibration get picked up through your tentacles and go back to you and crush bones too. Oh, but I need my bones. Dusty old bones full of green dust. Dusty old bones full of green dust. Dusty old bones full of green dust. Oh, that's a King of the Hills reference. God. Bones in a nugget. I, uh, I mean, I am kind of a boneless nugget, but I mean, I have arms and legs, so I know they're pretty thin, but I mean, it would make sense if there was a bone in me. Hmm. What exactly am I? I'm already a talking chicken nugget. What is my true purpose? I understand I became a nugget because I ate chicken strips and nuggets on the daily for years before I woke up as one. But what is my actual purpose? Playing games? Chatting with you, chat? Whispering sweet nothings to you on a celebrated holiday like Valentine's Day? What is Nuggets? Maybe one day I'll know. But until then... <laughs> to hell is Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is a day where people who are interested in each other celebrate their love with expensive gifts like chocolate candy, roses, diamonds, a new car, a new VTuber model, uh, some anime figures, some titties, an odon hole, a flashlight, a Pornhub subscription, or, you know, they just spend time together. That's what Valentine's Day is. A day of celebrating love and expensive pleasantries. <laughs> it doesn't actually have to be like that, though. Uh, it's just a day you spend with a special someone. Or special someones if you have multiple partners, you know. Whatever you use, provocative. Don't you have a special Eldritch Horror you could spend time with, devil? Oh. Well, I mean, you could still celebrate with, you know... No, hell no. Well, maybe you could celebrate by destroying some people. What about the souls of the damned? I mean, you could... That's kind of like spending time with somebody. I mean, someone's got to, you know, torture those souls. I mean, that's a special bond. You're a happy camper. Oh, that's getting me excited. It's getting me further excited for the, um, the direct. Oh, 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 oh. sounds like it's going to be a good one. Oh, gosh. Honestly, I love the directs that seem to come out of nowhere. Uh, literally, like, announced, like, hey, there's going to be a direct tomorrow tend to be the good ones tend to be the good ones yeah 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 i'm very excited for it ah uh, maybe i could have gone away with streaming um maybe i could have gone away with streaming the nintendo direct honestly i probably could have but i don't know i i would have felt weird uploading that vod but i also just wanted to uh i don't know I like doing things kind of differently than other uh, people. Uh, I mean, the cake yeah, the cake is more interesting. Hell yeah. The cake is not a lie with me. Mm. I don't know. I like going against the grain, I guess, sometimes. I don't know. Plus, I just thought it'd be more fun to talk about sweet nothings with you guys, chat. Okay, Total Warhammer 3 and Elden Ring are pointing. Yo, I mm, I need to get Elden Ring when it comes out. Yeah, but the immediate moment is cake. Everything's about cake. Cake, human booty cake, chocolate cake, confetti cake. It don't matter. Everything comes back down to cake. Cake, 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 cake. But speaking of cake is a lie. I have never played Portal. 
that is a game I need to stream eventually because I've never played Portal. And I think that would be pretty fun to see me get frustrated because I feel like that's a game I'm going to get stuck on. Even in DBD, cake is all. Cake is love. Cake is life. God, I would love to play Dead by Daylight again. I it just my PC sucks for it for whatever reason. I try to play Dead by Daylight, but like on Steam it always has to reset or like it has to re-update, but then the update is stuck in a forever loading cycle, so I always have to uninstall the game to reinstall it, and that takes fucking forever with my computer. So I really don't understand why that game is the only one that I constantly have to uninstall and reinstall. But like, my roommates, they don't have to deal with it. I asked my friends who play Dead by Daylight, they don't have to deal with it. It's just like my specific Dead by Daylight that I have installed. I really don't understand. I do not understand, chat. I do not understand. I do not understand. It seems illogical that my digital copy of Dead by Daylight, for whatever reason, would not work. Oh, you have the same issue with it? Well, that makes me feel a little bit better. Because honestly, it was getting, it was really frustrating the other night when I cannot get the thing to work. Uh, I really want to play that prop night game. The one where it's dead by daylight, except you could turn to props from like a uh, prop hunt. That seems like a lot of fun. That game probably won't fucking screw up my computer. But I love dead by daylight. It's such a sweet game to play. I love hunting my friends in it as the thick caked up uh, pyramid head. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet, you know, getting hunted, you know, and fearing for your life and also being able to be the hunter. I love playing um, The Pig because uh, I Saw is my favorite horror movie franchise. Well, okay, one of them. Uh, and I just love getting able to put the traps on characters. What kind of flower did they use for you? I don't know, human skin? Again, I, I woke up like this. I don't know how I was made. I just woke up in the Happy Meal box. Your wallet is crying. Oh, sounds like I'll be crying then too. <laughs> Probably drugs. Hey now, that's not funny. Unless you count love as a drug. Life is a highway. I wanna ride it all night long. Hey, wait, nugs are drugs. Delicious, delicious. Nug drugs. <laughs> uh, no, no, I was thinking funny mushroom that Fleshling uses to open their eyes to us. Oh. Oh. Oh, jeez. Ah, jeez. Well, on that note, I think it might be time to start wrapping up here in the next couple minutes. Only because I might actually have to use... Well, uh, mm, probably, probably go for like at least 10 more minutes. Um, I know you just arrived. You know what? I, I will go for like another like 10-ish minutes because you just arrived. Actually, you know what? I could probably go to three. I mean, three o'clock is only like 18 minutes away. But I mean, I normally got to eat lunch and stuff. So you know what? I normally typically go till three o'clock or a little bit after. So let's at least just go to three. Yeah, let's just go at least go to three. For you. For you, my friend. For you. I understand it's a different time zone for you. It's 2.42 p.m. for me right now. Okay? I'm... I'm in the PST. I'm not in phase with your portal. No, I'm afraid not. I'm in my own phase. 
Marble Phase 3, baby. Marble Phase 3. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bud. <coughs> but hey, you seem to make it to my streams pretty regularly, so that's pretty cool. Actually, it's actually, uh, I don't know if I should, like, mention it, but I mean, like, it is pretty nice actually seeing specific regulars come into my streams as of late. That, that, that's been pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, like, I don't know, that's just nice. Having consistent people to talk to. It's midnight for you in general? Oh, damn. Oh, damn, I didn't know that. Late night nugget vibes. Let's go. Sorry, I had to miss on the Arceus streams. You don't get spoiled. No, no, that's perfectly understandable, man. Uh, that's that. understandable, my friend. Don't worry about it. Like, I'm never offended when people like miss a stream. Like, that is something like I I know some streamers like, especially when they're starting out, really get discouraged by if like certain people don't show up to streams. But I mean, like everyone lives their lives. Like no one is obligated to your time. I mean, we all have lives to live. It's perfectly understandable if you can't always make a stream, and it's unreasonable to expect a certain someone to always be around. Hell, I have friends that know I stream and would love to support me, but they don't. They rarely tune in, and that's completely fine. We all got shit going on. Completely makes sense. And also, that's another good reason, like Chance said, if you don't want to get spoiled about a game, that's completely reasonable too. Uh, I, if it's a good story game, even though if it's a popular like VTuber that I really respect and want to watch, I typically uh, avoid uh, a game that I plan on playing. And that makes perfectly good sense. Well, I mean, it's calm that there's not a lot of people, kind of like the vibe here sometimes. That, I mean, yeah, that is true. I mean, sometimes it's just chill just having a few people uh, to talk to. And even then, like, if it's not even like, if if I'm streaming and there's like no one around, I mean, that's completely fine as well. I mean, I'm just vibing. Be here for Kingdom Hearts 100%, nice. You spoil yourself that's gotten Dark Souls in the first place? That is fair. That is 100% fair. Well, I appreciate you saying that, Chance, and I'll always be posting on my Twitter when I when I go live with a specific game or such. I'm, typically, I mean, I always post on Twitter when I go live. Um, no. Honestly, it's just nice. I mean, the whole point of me wanting to stream is just to vibe and entertain people, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh excuse me, sorry. And apparently burp. Oh crap, what just happened? Why did that happen? Oh, okay. Whoops! I thought I unplugged my PC for a second. Because everything went quiet in my ear. And then the music changed. Whew! That... That was wow. Wow. Sorry about that. Uh, Darkest Dungeon, Dark Souls, TV, uh, the D TW Warhammer, been five years old. It's one of the OG player Dead Cells. Oh, I've I've heard of Dead Cells. I've been thinking about playing that. I think. Is that the game I'm thinking of? I can Google that real quick. Uh, Dead Cells. Yep, it's that roguelike Metrovania, like, with the kind of cool art style. Oh, I'm not trying to play the audio on this. Yeah, this looks like it'd be fun. Oh, yeah, th yeah, this is that game I thought of. Yeah, no, I want to give this a try. Oh, I should probably play Hades again on stream one of these days. I should get back into that. I still haven't gone on a full run in that game. Oh, uh, Skull Hero Slayer? Actually, I do know of that game. I haven't played it, though. I know of that, though. That game looks cute. It looks cute. Actually, yeah. I actually do actually want that game. That'd be a fun stream game. Is there a chance it's on console yet? Or is it mainly Steam? Because mainly when I can stream from console, I have a better chance of getting my model to work with it. 
But I mean, maybe with how that game is. Aha! It is on console! It's on Switch and PS4? Hell yeah, that's totally a game I can play. Let's go! That'd be totally fun to do. It's good. The skull switch mechanics makes for a for really for dynamic experience. Hell yeah! You know, I'll do that. I, I, I'll 100% play that game. I'll add it to the wish list. Add it to the wish list. Yeah, because I need to get I need to get some more games to play. I need to get good more multiplayer games as well. Uh, oh, I was about to say why can't I add to the wish list? But I realized I'm on Google. That's why. Plus, history seems cool, and there's a Wilhelm scream. Ah, yeah. I know hmm, eventually I would like to attempt a karaoke stream one of these days one of these days but I need to work on my singing voice because it unless I'm like meme singing like <sighs> drunk then simple and clean Simple and clean is the way I'm feeling, you know? See, I I don't mind jokingly singing like that, but like actually attempting to sound good, it's... Ah, uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. I've been told I have a good voice, but I don't know if I have a good singing voice. It's something I'd have to work on. And build up the confidence. My nugget confidence when it comes to singing is not strong. It's not zero, it's not strong when it comes to singing, though. Unfortunately. I mean, we do care. We are between cool people with cool idea and dumb objectives. Fair. That is fair. You're tone deaf, so no singing streams for you. See, that's my thing. I'm pretty sure I am too. I, I am too. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was just me doing funny voices. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'll figure it out one day. Press. Oh my god. Okay, this is going off a little tangent. But do you ever just go to like a music store and you just think, um, man. I want to play a ukulele. Though my voice in general isn't that good for singing. Better than suffering from mis misophonia, I guess. Mm, misphonia, I guess. Yeah, I guess. I actually trying to remember what misophonia is. Um, misophonia. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh. Yeah, no, that's probably that's probably for the best. Um, yeah, no, I just randomly walked in a music store the other day and I felt like, uh, man, I kind of want to buy that ukulele and learn to play. Cause a ukulele seems like a fun instrument to do. Hello, King. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. Hope you're having a fantastic Wednesday. Uh, oh man, I'm gonna be wrapping up here in like ten-ish minutes, but I'm grateful you were able to stop by, King. You dropped this, King. Aw, look at those I heart you, Pepe. Ah, uh, man, I wish this could show up on- I don't know why my chat box is not working on, um, on stream today, but I gotta figure it out. Gonna sing somewhere over the rainbow with the ukulele? Hell yeah. But the funny thing is, like, I kind of want to learn, like, a bunch of ukulele acoustic versions of, like, metal songs. Um, on a ukulele. I don't know. I still haven't bought one yet, but I've been considering it lately. It just seems like a fun instrument, you know? No problem, I'm just stoked I was able to catch you. Aw, I appreciate that. Slowly pulls out the honey mustard. Hey now, hey now. Or incense and I Play through fire and the flames? Hell yeah, I would. Through the fire and flames. That's another thing, if I were ever to do a karaoke stream, I would have to have the lyrics up or be watching like a video with like the actual like lines being 
said at the right times, because I suck at remembering things. It, I, yeah, it, it, it'll be, it'll be a time if I ever do that. God, saying Fire of the Flames, man, I totally missed out on the Guitar Hero craze. Like, besides playing in arcades, I never owned Guitar Hero. So I never had the Guitar Hero guitars. I rarely ever played, and I feel like that was such a popular thing that it kind of bums me out I missed that. Man, I feel like I would have loved it. I mean, on the Wii especially, I owned a Wii for God's sake growing up. You know what you should sing? The Tattered Sail Shanty or the Ogre Song from Warhammer? I'd have to learn them. I would have to learn them to sing them. <coughs> but maybe I'm always open to learn something. For the most part. I mean, there are some things that maybe I shouldn't learn. Like that Yoshi's story song is really just the Yoshi's singing about eating ass. Although I'm actually pretty grateful to learn that. Makes me happy. Very simple, best trailer song of all time. Actually the best trailer of all time. Fair enough. Fair enough, my friend. I'm trying to think what trailer music has gotten me super fucking hyped before. I think I don't know. I mean, Kingdom Hearts music trailers really got me fucking hyped back in the day. Uh, especially, if, I got really hyped for Kingdom Hearts three as more trailers came out for it. But like, especially when um, Utica Hikaru's music was playing with it. Uh, but it's just, I, I don't want to go on a Kingdom Hearts tangent. I don't, I don't, I don't. That's not, that was not the point of the stream. It's supposed to be about sweet, sweet. Like, look at these sweet little hearts here. Look at all these hearts. Look at Kirby right here. Look at this chocolate cake. This is a sweet stream. This is a sweet stream, chat. You're all a bunch of sweeties. Oh, gosh. We have fun here. I feel like we have fun here. You lie to yourself. No. No, I don't. Shut up. I would never lie. Heroes never die. It's true, they don't. Uh, Nugget, do I have a Discord? Uh, not a public one, I'm afraid. Not right now. Um, I'm still unsure on how I want to go about that. Only just because, um... I typically work a lot when I'm not streaming and I do a lot of things. I don't know. It just right now, unless I had some mods or something, I don't know. I, I don't really think I can manage it. <laughs> Heroes never die. Dark Dungeon disagrees strongly. Fair enough. Although, I mean, if I ever collab with someone, typically I, I just have like a little, like little small server. That's just with, like people I, I, I know. Uh, but I mean, like maybe I'll have a public uh, discord one day. I'll have to see about that. <laughs> All right, guys, we're we only got a few minutes left here before I really should go. Does anyone have any last sweet nothings they want to say to this Nugget boy before he does he does his own luncheon business, delectable luncheons? Small server where you be sniffing warp snow with Nuggy. Nuggy friend, I don't know if I'd be sniffing warp stone. Maybe play Hearthstone, but not sip. Actually, I haven't played Hearthstone in years. Holy crap, that's a throwback. Go eat some cake. I would if I had some cake. Kirby ate it all, so I don't have any left. Well, I mean, besides this cake that I'm sitting on, maybe I can eat this cake. It'd probably be delicious. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna eat this cake. I'm gonna eat this cake. Kirby, Kirby, you're gonna have to get out of here. Bye, bye. No, no, Kirby, 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 stay behind me. Stay behind me. Down, Kirby. All right. Eh, eh, oh. All right, chat. I'm gonna have a nice piece of chocolate cake. 
Have a nice piece of chocolate cake, all right? All right. Nice piece of chocolate cake for the nugget. And string it down a bit. It's a nice piece of chocolate cake for me. All right. And... Wow! Oh, damn it. Take two, take two, take two. You didn't see that, you didn't see that, you didn't see that. And... Wow! Oh, damn it. I screwed up. Kirby just took my cake! God damn it! I should have known! No! Oh. Kirby, no! The cake was a lie! Go get food and be vibe and limit creature in my nugget. I will be. I will be. I will be. Do you like that bit and how scuffed and terribly timed it was? I liked it. Next time we eat the nugget. I feel like I'm definitely talking. There are definitely two conflicting things going on here. Devil. Oh gosh. But anyway. <sighs> today was fun. I think today was fun. I mean, scuff is the soul of the stream. It really is. And that's the sign of a good streamer when they're scuff. 100%. 100%. Okay, though. I think we're gonna wrap it up. Uh, let me see if any of my friends are live for me to raid before I go. Before I go. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, it was good to see you, Chance. I'm really glad you, you stuck around. Um... Sorry, just trying to find someone to raid. Gotta support fellow VTubers, hell yeah. We gotta support each other. Hmm. Well, how do you guys feel about spoilers? Cause there's a spider VTuber playing Mass Effect. We may not be sending that many people, but we're sending some people their way. And I think that's always the most important part is doing your best to send people uh, away. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's see. Raid. Moon. Spidey. Did I do this right? I did it wrong. Hang on. Hang on. Raid. Raiding is always so fun. Hell yeah, it is. And also, the Nugget Raid emote should be working as well. What do you mean, invalid name? Come on, I'm trying to support my fellow VTubers here. Uh, slash raid. Sorry about this, guys. Trying to get this working let me see if I try like this huh I apparently can't raid this person I am I that's unfortunate uh, let me try raiding someone else because I just can't. I feel kind of bad now. Um, slash raid. Okay, raiding is not working for me. I do not understand why. 
Um, I'm typing all these usernames in the raid, so... I guess I'll try again next time? Damn, I feel really bad! I really wanted to send the love on to some people's way. Um, here. Here's what I'll do. Um... I was gonna raid, like, um... Moon... Moon Spidey. Like, that's the username. Uh, if you wanna look them up, they're playing Mass Effect Legendary Edition. They seem pretty, uh, they seem pretty cool. I've followed them for a bit. But anyway, I think that's just gonna wrap it up. I wanna give a big shout out to everyone who, um... Who came by today and joined the sweet sweet talk stream it was a lot of fun chance devil blue lad kryptonite king you guys are amazing and i will see you again on friday when i stream usually around this time i hope you guys have a great rest of your i almost said friday hope you have a great rest of your wednesday night morning day whatever it is i love you all so much you guys have a fantastic time i'll see you later goodbye i love you goodbye Wah!